Embroidery motifs are preset design elements such as hearts, leaves or border patterns which are stored in dedicated motif sets. They can be used for ornamental outlines and pattern fills or even on their own. Embroidery Studio provides everything necessary to create beautiful motif designs for a wide range of applications. Alternating forward and backward rows of paired motifs can also be used. Layered motif fills can use different colours or motif types. Perspective effects can be created with 3D warp. Embroidery Studio's motif feature also allows you to create motif runs and fills with variable or graded sizes and spacing effects. Any decorative element you create can be saved as a motif. In this video we demonstrate how to create a beautiful lace design using a variety of motif runs and fills. First, study the design and decide where to apply motif fills and runs. We start by digitizing the main flower. Select motif fill and digitize one of the petals with a suitable input method, in this case complex fill. Stitch angles have no effect on motif fills. Choose a preferred motif type from the library and adjust settings to suit. Make settings current and carry on until you've digitized all the petals. Now we focus on the base of the flower. Using column A with motif column, we digitize the shape using fixed size and spacing. Adjust settings to suit. We digitize the outer rim of the flower base in the same way. But here we use proportional size and spacing to follow the proportions of the shape. Again, adjust settings to suit. Turn off the artwork to study the result. Now we focus on the ribs comprising the centre of the flower base. In this case we use motif run with gradient size and spacing. Again choose a suitable motif from the library and adjust settings to suit. Make settings current and carry on until you've digitised all the ribs. Add borders to the flower using a suitable stitch type, in this case satin column. Having completed our flower, we select the entire object grouping, duplicate and drag and rotate into position as required. Repeat the operation with the other flowers, rotating, resizing and modifying as necessary. Now we turn our attention to the leaves. Using the same technique, digitize the leaf components column by column. Again we add a border of satin stitching. Carry on with the other leaves in the same manner. Duplicate, modify and digitize additional objects to build up the design. Finally, add the background. Since this is a see-through design, avoid overlaps. Finally, Check the design carefully, making sure to resequence objects for efficient stitch out. And there we have it an expertly digitized lace design using Embroidery Studio's motif capabilities. To mimic the ornate design artwork, we've used a mixture of motif runs and fills with both fixed and proportional size and spacings. 
For more information about Embroidery Studio's Motif digitizing features, consult the online help or reference manual.